Hey there, everybody, Morgan with the Vinancer here, and today I'm making this balloon bouquet. Mine's themed for Valentine's Day, but you could change up the balloon and color choices to fit any special occasion. It's the same size as a flower bouquet, but lasts so much longer. So follow along and I'll show you how to make it. The first thing I did was inflate all of my Mylar balloons. Now, Mylar balloons that are this small don't tend to have self-sealing valves, so I'll have to seal this in a moment. But first of all, I'm going to take the valve and wrinkle it a little bit to give me a spot to put my pump in. I'm then going to inflate this until it's slightly firm. It should give a little bit, so if you take this where it's a little warmer, the balloon won't pop on you. You want to watch for those little crinkles on the edge of your balloon, and that means you haven't over-inflated it. So I'm just going to hold the nozzle right between my thumb and finger and then bring it over to my heat sealer. I'm going to lay this across the band and then hold it down for 10 seconds so I get a nice seal all the way across the nozzle of my balloon. A seal like this means your balloon is going to last for a couple weeks, but if you don't have a heat sealer, you can always take your nozzle and ride up against your balloon, twist it really tightly several times, and then tie a traditional knot. It may not last quite as long, but it'll suffice in this case. Next, I tied my balloon to a 12-inch balloon stick with a balloon cup already attached to that stick. And the key to this is making sure that cup is right up against your balloon really snugly. The tighter this is, the better looking your balloon is going to be. So I, once I've got that cup right up against the balloon, I'm going to weave the tail in and out of the slots until I go back up into the slot it originally came down through. And then I'm just going to twist the remaining tail around the balloon and tuck it in to hide it away. I repeated this with all of my Mylar balloons so that they're nice and firmly attached to their sticks. I arranged these balloons like I would a bouquet of flowers, and I've got my primary balloon, which is the panda here, and I'm going to hold its stick about halfway down and keep a firm grasp on that location. I'm then going to couple my large heart right next to it and holding it in the same spot and following it up with the smallest three hearts in front. Now, you don't have to be super precise at this moment with the placement of the balloons because they're going to get muddled a little bit when we go to add the rubber band, which is the next step. Right where my hand is holding the balloon sticks, that's where I'm going to add my rubber band. Now, my rubber band is a little large for this project, so I'm going to double it up a couple times and then bring it over the top of all my sticks right to where my fingers are. You could also use one of those really tiny rubber bands that are meant for hairstyling, and that would work great for this project. I overlapped two sheets of tissue paper onto the table and then laid my bouquet right on top, making sure the tissue was level with the ears of my panda and those sticks did not stick out past the tissue paper. Now I want to bind the bottom of these sticks so they don't flare out my design and you could easily do that with a little bit of tape, but I'm going to opt for using another rubber band and that way I've got a little flexibility in moving the balloons around in the arrangement later on. And speaking of moving the balloons, now's a great time to do a little bit of arranging, making sure the balloons are laying about how you would like them to be before we start wrapping them all up in tissue. Now the goal of the tissue paper is to primarily cover the balloon sticks. We want to hide them as much as possible on the bottom, but we also want to utilize the tissue paper to create volume and texture around our balloons. So the bottom of the bouquet is going to be really tightly wrapped, but I want to fluff up the tissue paper and fold it around so we have lots of volume and texture on the top of the bouquet. Now once you've kind of got the tissue paper situated how you would like it, right where you've been holding that bouquet the entire time, we're gonna put a little piece of tape and that's just gonna secure the tissue paper in place before we add the next layer. I then wrapped the bouquet in this adorable white polka dotted cello wrap. I'm gonna put the corner of the cello wrap up above the top of the panda's head so it extends beyond the bouquet a little bit and then loosely wrapped it around the entire design. Now you could absolutely stop with just the tissue paper as that successfully covers the mechanics of the sticks and everything, but adding the cello wrap just gives it a lovely finishing touch and makes it look professional. After securing it in place with a piece of tape, I'm gonna hide that piece of tape with a curling ribbon bow. So I've got three coordinating colors of pinks just wrapped around that spot where we placed the tape and tied it nice and securely. I then finished the tails off with a little bit of curling action with a pair of scissors. And that's it! A few simple steps and you can have a lovely bouquet to give to someone you love. Balloon bouquets make a wonderful gift for any occasion and are so simple to make. I hope you've enjoyed today's project, and if you did, hit that like button and subscribe below. I'd also love for you to check out our Patreon group where I give all kinds of party tips and event tutorials over there as well. So until the next time, you can check out some of my other projects over here. And remember, stay creative everybody! 
Bye.